uh, hey team today we will look into the toast card test automation tool so today we'll look into how the scrolling behavior works on a toast card. so where can we define it and how can we use it and uh, before going to the technical aspect let me brief you about in a tosca automation and why do we need that and for what reason we will be using it okay so first of all we'll be looking into uh, the tosca test automation it is an uh, just an a uh, model based test automation tool and as compared to other tool you can compare with an uh, selenium either a uft either some other tool which are available in the market so if you want to build any of the script you have to be write a code for all the all the tools which are there in the market but as compared to a tosca here you no need to write any of the script to build a test script because here we will be dealing with only a model based test automation and here we will be creating a model and we are building our test script and even though optimizing a test script and maintaining a test script is very easy here so like we can create a reusable step block and we can reuse it so it is depend on that how we gonna design our test cases it's totally depend on how we are building our test case along with an tcd and as coming to part of our test data the test data either we can go ahead and create in a design in our particular test case design session here so here you can completely design your all the test data else you can use in a test data service management like in a TDS you can use it where we can upload our data and even we can retrieve our data from a TDS and TDS it is a kind of a test data services where it will be communicating with a TOSCA okay and uh, as coming to part of in our uh, today's topic and how do we add in a scrolling behavior so when some of the objects are below the our below our test case like in a below our web page at the moment what we supposed to do go to the login page and if your login is below of your particular web page the sense it is not available in the center it is bottom of your test script at the moment just to go ahead and create a configuration parameter before that you have to be check it out then only we will be having an access to an a model and as soon as we check out and go to the model and go to the particular object and then create an a parameter steering parameter you can give as a scrolling behavior and then here you can give your parameter like bottom so if you give this and whenever you ran your particular test case it will be go ahead and it will when in a runtime it will be scrolled to the bottom where your object is available in a web application either any of the any of the object verification either of object steering at the moment it will be scrolled down to the page okay this is how we can use it for an uh, this is how we can use the scrolling behavior and as coming to a tosco here we have in a majorly test case section and model session and requirement session and test case and whatever we have been built those will be going to execute in the execution list these are the four factor where we'll be working with our tosco and uh, this is how we going to work on completely okay and we will be conducting a demo class like in a, a three uh, free uh, demo workshop session we will be conducting if anybody interested they can join it and we will be confirm the date on the screen so yep yeah. thank you thank you very much